Howdy. Welcome back, Murph. <laughs> Welcome back. What's happening, man? Life, man. How about you? Oh, you know, usual stuff. <laughs> usual stuff. <laughs> Classic usual stuff. Usual stuff. Welcome back to episode 18 of the Maple Glazed podcast. Wow. We Might up even to make 20. Uh, hey. Hey. We're, we're almost uh, legal to drink now. <sighs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> we're I so know. close. So close. <laughs> Long three. <laughs> Thank you guys for okay. <laughs> thank you guys for uh, last time for um, listening to that weird mess of a podcast. I don't know was what that, that was. Bad? Actually, it wasn't too bad. Okay, I was surprised when I was going through it. I, I kind of lost track. And then I was like, you know what? It's actually pretty good. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know what? It, we pull gold out of our ass every once in a while. See, it, that's what I'm saying. Right? Yeah, exactly. It, things things click when right? uh, we're throwing crap at the wall. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Like, that's the perfect way to describe that. <laughs> <laughs> well, go. Oh, that's what you should. Damn, we should. We missed a good opportunity. Shit against the wall? Well, I don't know what does that mean. What? <laughs> Shit at the wall. Shit. <laughs> the podcast. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> Holding the wall, pro. Right? Oh, my God. Oh, so many opportunities. <laughs> oh. Oh, boy. There's so much going on this week. Um, there was. There was uh, I, I, I've kind of felt like uh, we didn't do anything justice properly last week just because we didn't really get into um, – a lot of the Canadian stuff that I wanted oh, to. Oh boy, yeah. So that's what there's really that. Listen for exactly. Got, yes, my horrible take on Canadian stuff that I know nothing about. Trust me, there's there's a small little pocket of people yeah. from New Brunswick who are just <laughs> dying to hear you, Murph. Perfect. <laughs> but first, first come, first serve. Obviously, there yes. are drinks of choice tonight. Obviously, I'm being a woman. I'm drinking some seltzer, so leave yeah. me alone. I mean, I got the one hell too, with you, but not oh, true. I got to press with me as Murph. well. Hey, press is good. Press is amazing. Press is probably one of the best seltzers, and then obviously Murph's got the uh, the moose head. Oh yeah, Go getting moosey. Like <laughs> getting moosey. Yeah, <laughs> like that should be their catch saying. <laughs> Hashtag get moosey. getting moosey. <laughs> Let's get moosey. You're welcome. Free publicity. <laughs> Sponsor me. <laughs> what, oh jeez. What was that? What was that thing on uh, TikTok I saw one time? There's some company that said, um, like hashtag. Um, uh, cream squad or something like that it was like some i think there was a porno no it wasn't. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> no it was like it was some um cream company for like coffee and stuff mm, i don't know that yeah no nope. no it was cream nation that's what it was oh god <laughs> oh like, god like you, you you shouldn't do that <laughs> i mean that's like milwaukee's city jersey's cream city so <laughs> yeah, really oh yeah you didn't know that <laughs> no i did yeah. not know that. They had them on basketball jerseys oh jesus oh yeah yeah mm-hmm. god damn it that happened this is what happens, man. Oh, yeah. That's what happens when you don't like have like actual people watching over your marketing department. It's like, you know what? You know what we should do? Just go off the there. damn rails. Yep. It's like the it's like the Disney boner and sex scene and all that stuff that <laughs> they put in there that we all that ruined our childhoods. <laughs> what back in the sixties and seventies? No, you don't remember that where it was like Lion King, where it was like it was like sex and the yeah. like yeah, and then there was like Apparently the priest and the little mermaid had a boner or something. One of the oh, animators got pissed. Like, yeah, like that's what I'm saying. That kind of stuff. The, or the best one was uh, Little Mermaid. On what the uh, on, on the on the front cover of it, um, there's like that the huge castle in the background, and it looked like a bunch of dicks. I'm not kidding oh, you. Geez. You gotta go back. You gotta yeah, see. I'll have to look that. All right. <laughs> yep, that's fair. Oh boy. Uh, gotta love it, Disney. Gotta Cream Nation. It. There we go. Right. <laughs> <laughs> God. Cream City. Uh, <laughs> oh, as oh, always. Boy. Yep. The hijinks of, of Maple Glaze is back. Um, one of the first things actually I did not get to, and I've, I've kind of felt bad, was uh, obviously the the um, what? Don't give me that look. <laughs> the uh, the the damn uh, wildfires. Oh, of all, all things. Yeah. Uh, we kind of touched on it real quick. To get, we're trying to get past that, Zach. Mm-hmm. Are we? I don't know. Oh, I think so. Damn. I guess no. so. I guess not. No, I think the Canadian government is. Everyone else isn't. But yes, the Canadian government is. They fumbled <laughs> the bag on that one, as the youth says. <laughs> as the youth says, uh, yeah. the, they lost the Riz. They lost lots of Riz. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Just everywhere. We're hip. Yeah. There we go. Very. Damn <laughs> <laughs> <Okay, but laughs> they, uh, No, I, I saw a few TikToks uh, this past week of a couple of kids that were just literally standing outside and like the colors were just like mixed. They were the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. And you see like these big old, like almost look like like military type of uh, planes, like flying over, just releasing oh, yeah. all like the, the chemicals to, to stop the, um, agent the, orange. 
Just probably, for all I yeah. know. <laughs> That's probably the wrong don't... thing. That would have caused the wildfires even <laughs> Pro- worse. Probably yeah. Trudeau's <laughs> like, release the orange. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, sir, yeah, that's yeah, completely... Yeah. That's completely terrible. I don't fight fire with fire in Canada. <laughs> Probably mixed it with Tang or something. Oh, it's for like sure. for sure. It's fine. They need that shit anyway. It's pretty. It's yeah. It's, we need to hydrate the fire. <laughs> <laughs> it's like what idiocracy yeah. it has electrolytes. Right. <laughs> it like has toilet? what fires need. Water like what's in toilet. <laughs> it has what fires need. Oh, electrolytes. Electrolytes. <laughs> <laughs> Next Gatorade commercial. Do you want a better wildfire? Gatorade. <laughs> Dude, that's that's the type of shit from yeah. like those commercials for like the nineties. Oh with, yeah, like almost like the the five gum commercials. It's like the same damn premise. <laughs> what does your fire need? <laughs> oh god, <laughs> electrolytes, right? Oh, it's like the old um. Oh, you no. know what? I someone someone posted. I haven't seen it for years. I think it was was the Powerade ones or Gatorade. I think it was the Gatorade ones where everything was black and white. And then the the sweat was like the color of the Gatorade. Yeah, Gatorade. Yeah, dude, those were those were pretty cool. Those, those were pretty cool. It was like Michael Jordan, all of them, and you see yeah. them in their game face. You're like this is sick. Damn, I want Gatorade. <laughs> Which one's your favorite? Purple, purple drink. Yeah, pur- yeah, <laughs> purple Gatorade. <laughs> I was, Blue. I was that weird person. I did like the mystery flavors. I, was, I, I enjoyed those more. <laughs> or the okay. clear. Oh, the clear, clear was, clear was good. good. Clear was good. That's, I was always a big fan of the Arctic. Ar- yeah, Arctic. The no, Arctic Blast was the light blue. Uh, Okay, yeah, light yeah. blue. That was my that was my go to. There you go. That's fair. Oh, yeah. but anywho, um, yeah. the Canadian wildfires, wildfires. Yeah, got off topic again. I, it was the craziest thing for for like the first few weeks. It was um, yeah. um, the first few days. There, people kind of didn't know what to do. I saw some stuff from like either on Snapchat or or on TikTok. People I would were think just run, like, but yeah, most people were running. Yeah, yeah, as far as they could. Right, that's what I would do. Um, and then. At least here in Ohio, like nothing really happened, but it wasn't until like a couple of days later. I mean, you just we had intense, like it's not even smog because it was smoke. Yeah, it was yeah. It, like there was days like you knew it was supposed to be clear. Yeah, like perfect clear day. Yep, you know, summer day, you name it. But then it was like a, like a slight cloudy like filter over the right? the sky. Or like what? The and hell then we happened? got weirdly cold for a few days after. Like I'm not sure if it was just like the earth cooling because of the fires Probably. or what. But you know, like. Like what we were like one day, I remember I was like, I gotta put on sweatpants. It's cold. And it's I like know. it was like June. And I'm like, what is going on right now? Like that's what I'm saying. I'm sure some people are like global warming. And like, stop it, stop it, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> yes, but stop it. <laughs> we get it. Go Listen, some, we're a little bit early in the right? firewood, but yeah. we're we're, we're, we're doing some it. tomato soup at Mona Lisa or whatever the hell they're doing now. <laughs> But yes, no. I mean, yeah, I, I think unfortunately the Canadian government took another black eye on that one. That wasn't good. But you know, hey, they're they're eco friendly, so you had to put the fire out in a eco friendly way, <laughs> which means you just let it burn until it stops. We have to burning. get really big blankets, right, and put them out. I don't know if this was official yet, but no, I think they said it was natural causes that caused that fire because they say like most of them in the summer it's people being stupid with their cigarettes and stuff like that. But I Not think true. they said this one. Uh, no, they said those might have been man-made. I mean, the way it might have been like it might have been a cigarette. The the, the way the satellite images showed it was like the the kind of like where all these started. They were yeah. like kind of sporadic, but they're still within like a. It was a big radius, but still like it was. Well, it was it, really it was, dry up there. Like yeah, it, it actually was, like after that, it dawned on me where I was like we hadn't had rain for like a month, maybe even two. That's true. Like it was yeah, it was bad. Perfect, perfect for fires. Well. My favorite conspiracy theory was uh, somebody. Oh God! So, somebody said. Somebody said. <laughs> it's like well now now we know where um there was like a bunch of uh oh what was it Aliens? fertilizer oh <laughs> fertilizer that was like stolen and stuff I was like why the hell who the hell would would steal fertilizer and take it up hey, to Canada expensive <laughs> I know probably <laughs> Canadians are like oh, hey bud we really need that fertilizer <laughs> no but it's really weird because they're they're. Canada is that sensitive about the environment. Yeah. You cannot bring up pesticides or weed killers from the U.S. because they have too much chemicals in them. That's true. Yeah. So. That's true. I can see why. Black market fertilizer. It's a big thing up there. You know what? Just I, like I, the I, COVID I, vaccines. I like, actually, you know, did, were you the one that told me that? What? About the, like how they would just black market like fertilizer try to bring it up there. No, I'm just oh. saying that now. Okay, I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know that was an actual thing. I was just kind of joking. I no, because yeah. like I, I'm not shocked, but yeah, 
I've heard it's a thing like with some like very rural farmers because they want because obviously it works That's strong shit yeah yeah and they're I think uh, the the government almost gives you like a, a small list of things that you can actually use and they're yeah. like yeah this crap doesn't work fuck this oh yeah no so they yeah, just like give me bad. the American stuff yeah <laughs> yeah because you can like you can go and get like Scott stuff there but it's very like the weak or whatever but it's super diluted so like all my family that gets it is like. <laughs> We're just pretty much watering these things. Like, there's like nothing in this. Like, it's bad. We can drink this and we're fine, right? Yeah. If you can see after being sprayed with it, it's not good for fertilizer. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, right? That's all you need, America. <laughs> if you're not losing some hair and potentially getting cancer. It's not killing anything. If your cells are not mutating into some sort of superhero. I exactly. don't want it. I agree with you. Jesus. You have had a few moles that you're not sure about. Not the right stuff. <laughs> Who needs a gun? Uh, you just get the fertilizer. Oh, <laughs> can't. Nope, not making that joke. I have a, I have a conscience. Nope, not doing it. All nope, right, we'll okay. move on. Okay, nope, fair, not fair, doing fair, it. fair. Nope. Yep. No, but uh, I guess after man, it was probably like upwards of a, of a week or so. There's a few people, I guess, apparently that were stranded up there, and because the inability of the Canadian government basically telling them, hey, oh, like this thing should pass over, or, or we have it under control. Like, don't like you. You can leave if you want for a few days and come back, whatnot. But there's people that are still staying in these small towns. Oh, yeah. And they're just like, and then next thing you know, this thing started ravaging. And they're like, what the hell? <laughs> you assholes. You told us to stay here. Jeez. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's about but, right. Uh, this, this is my new thing now. I know. Yeah. The Canadian, Canadian government, but they also have the conservative people up there who are just like, they're just reaming them at the butt. I was like, oh, this could be some great TikTok content coming up. Oh, boy. Here we go. Yep. <laughs> Zach's life now. You might be more Canadian than I am now. Oh, man. <laughs> Is it true that when you get the uh, the new Canadian passport, it smells like maple when you open it? I know. I don't have it, so oh. I don't know. Oh, you, you, you only have it. Oh, you just, they just give you half it a book? It smells like geese shit. <laughs> they don't like it. <laughs> you open it. <laughs> 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 Fuck. Shit. Yep, get the wrong one. Uh, can I? No, no, you're half. No, thank you. Right? Yeah, you have to be full to get the maple that's what, one. Actually, that's what they give to the Caucasian Canadians. What do they give the ones when they come over from England? They get all the good ones. Yeah. <laughs> like, damn. You said Caucasian? No, <laughs> no, 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 sir. Oh, jeez. Oh, Murph. Yep. Well, good luck going back to Canada. Be fun. August going back. Mid August. Damn. Taking the girlfriend with me, so it'll be interesting. There you go, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, Say yeah. hi to Danny Aykroyd for me. I will there. if I see him. Yeah. Yeah, he's probably cooked out on something, but yeah, we'll do. <laughs> he's probably in a detox. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Total tox. I don't know. What's what's the reverse of detox? Just complete just, tox? Just I don't toxic. Know. Yeah, just... I'm going through my toxic phase. <laughs> really? So, so am I yeah. since college. 13-year-old girl. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> God damn it, Mer. What the hell? <laughs> What? I think you said toxic. <laughs> it's Britney, bitch. <laughs> um, oh, gosh. Make sure you bring your own uh, Dan Aykroyd skull, too, up there. Dan Aykroyd skull? Yeah, the, the his, oh. his tequila. The, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you not it. know that? Yeah. I thought I you knew that. that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. knew that. I'll bring it. I'm going to have him sign it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. After that damn TikTok we saw the night of uh, yeah. people thinking he made Patron, I was like, I, I think it's going to throw everybody off. It's bar stool. Oh, that's true. Yeah. That's what you Just get. A bunch of frat boys <laughs> pretending like they're not frat boys. <laughs> or maybe they are. I don't know. Did <laughs> Dan Aykroyd make the truck? <laughs> oh. Yeah. It's part Hispanic. <laughs> I'm pretty now sure there's an sense. accent over the O or the A. There's an accent over one of them, I'm sure. Damn it. Now we got to get about to the bottom of this. Right. If you guys have any uh, connections to Dan Aykroyd, let us know. Yep. Get, get him on the Maple Clays podcast. Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Careful, he may actually join in. You know what? Maybe we'll have two people listen this time. There you go. I like it. Oh, man. I oh, had... Yeah. Uh-oh. So a couple of days after that, um, the, the, one of the best things about... Like, the wildfires any, about, or after what? About the about the wildfires. Okay. Um, and this, I was like, the first thing that comes to my mind, I'm like, man, the content that's about to come out of this <laughs> is going to be so damn good. And Just face it, you're not an influencer, right? Just... Let it no. go. No, like the, the content is going to come. Elsa, let it go, man. <laughs> <laughs> Reach into your into your little soul. There's right. a little girl inside of you oh, called gosh. Elsa. Let it go. Yep. <laughs> um, 
So the first thing I was thinking about was like, man, like there's going to be some stupid content coming out. I can't wait for it. And obviously, like after maybe six hours of of this really kind of hit, hitting its peak, especially in the U.S. Ooh, with yeah. like all like the uh, the smoke coming over Northeast here. Northeast got bad. I didn't realize they how bad, bad it was. I saw pictures and I'm like, it looked like they were on fire. Dude, New like, York Holy City. Shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <sighs> yeah, man. That was... I'm shocked no one died of smoke inhal- inhalation or whatever you call it. Like, I know people will be I... like, you're an idiot. You're in, they're like the fire that's like miles and miles or kilometers away. But I'm like, still, though, <laughs> that was some pretty heavy smoke there. Like, that was one of my favorite things because they, um, uh, they, they actually, uh, when they actually did the testing, they said, well, uh, make sure you're not out here in like for a whole entire day because they said it's basically the equivalent oh. of, of smoking six cigarettes. Damn. I was like, shit. <laughs> In the homeless population. Ooh, that one must have been rough. Jeez. <laughs> so, like, you had New York City getting pummeled, and and I think I've mentioned this on last week's podcast, but the um, there was uh, a woman in Philadelphia with her baby, and then she was because uh, Philadelphia they didn't get as bad, but it was yeah. still pretty bad, and it's still the same premise. And they're like, "Well, why are you outside?" And, you know, it's like, "Well, we feel like we, you know, I have to I have to get some fresh air, and I'm out here with my baby. Like, I don't want my baby to to get too much." too much smoke that's why i'm having my baby close to me i'm not letting letting her walk around i was like the, the baby's head is on your your elbow and it's just sitting there just like just breathing this stuff oh gosh i was like you pretend only in ass. philadelphia only in philadelphia like, that's like <laughs> yeah that's people are nuts in philadelphia that's i was like you know what just let her be at this point Natural Just, selection. I know. That's it right there. Natural selection. <laughs> uh, oh boy. Uh, I just have no comment on that. Yeah, it's just well, that's about right. Uh, that's about right. But at least uh, the the cool thing was uh, I did get to see Casey Neistat's video on it. He did um, a vlog, one of the biggest vloggers oh. on YouTube. But that's cool. Dude, like the the color, the coloring on like New York downtown, biggest, right? Because we're the biggest. Oh, obviously, yes, yeah, yes, okay, yes. Enough. Good. Obviously, good, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, circuit, fuck yeah. that guy. <laughs> I don't know. We might be who? <laughs> we might be third because I don't know. Peter McKinnon's up there too. I don't know. Uh, Just saying. Oh, okay, the, gotcha. the Canadian. The other oh, one. what? The Canadian. The other oh, one. gotcha. Yeah, there you go. Okay, I'll um, give him credit. Then that's fine. But Casey did a a video on this. It was like he was basically rolling around downtown, and dude, like the the smoke was from like it almost like the the smoke actually like was deep down at the ground level oh, and geez. people were just like visibility was pretty minimal and then the colors were like yellow orange brownish so yeah. fire colors i was like shit yeah 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 that's that's fire colors yeah yeah and yeah the sun peeking through smoke yeah that's uh, that's, what I'm say- that's what i'm saying man right it's fucking nuts don't um, don't be asshole yeah. <laughs> don't be asshole yeah <laughs> <laughs> I'm just making sure. I'm just being a smart ass. Not asshole, just being a smart ass. That's how that works. Tyler, you be an asshole. <laughs> oh, Damn. Geez. But but yeah, yeah, wildfires gotta think Canada. We contribute things every once in a while. You know what? Good job. You guys yep. are doing something. Yeah. Well, you know. Nine <laughs> eleven. Uh, Have fun with that. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, you brought terrorism to the world. <laughs> that, that worked. <laughs> how do you feel about we that? We weren't so. recognizing it until then, so there you go. <laughs> You're being nice about it up until this point. That's all. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> well, and there, uh, that's the last of Murphy's going back to Canada yeah, there you next go. week. Yep, that's it. Yep. <laughs> CDC's coming in. <laughs> oh. Oh, geez. Oh, so, uh, yeah. happy um, Canada Day um, with that's the Stanley. really s- early, but Stan- yes. With the Stanley, Stanley Cup finals. Cup, yeah, that's right. Yeah, is, is Vegas that like, won. That's like pre-Canada Day. I think it is, yeah. Actually, yeah, I think that's it's formally known as pre-Canada Day, even though a Canadian team hasn't won it since 1992. Oh, really that long or 96 i think it's 96 yeah uh wow so yeah somewhere in the 90s yeah. how did i not know this mm-hmm. damn you don't watch hockey i don't know i know but but you look at most rosters they're like majority canadian but yeah no canadian team hasn't won it since like the how is there no 90s how are they like not revolting right now it's canada i don't know they're oh. very like you know like they just use the argument well half the teams are canadian anyway have canadian players anyway so <laughs> yeah that's the argument they use <laughs> it's like not completely wrong but well yeah. it sucks but you know at least half our people down there yeah it's fine exactly Ugh. america takes the best of them that's true <laughs> well you know what Mark? that's what we do best right 
I think what they should do is they should combine the CFL with the NFL and let some CFL teams win the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, gosh, that would be hilarious if I ever saw that happen. At this point, they might as well. America would riot on that one. That would be bad. <laughs> yeah, you know it. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, well, there goes that. <laughs> Party foul. Oh, gosh. Oh. Big one. Well, it's not going to fall off the table, so we'll just let it sit there. There you go. A little bask in it. Yeah, the the leather, uh, the nice leather Blackhawks um, <laughs> coaster will soak it up. <laughs> so I didn't pay mm. for it. Mm. Right? Like, well, oh, geez. We should have a party foul meter. He just, uh, Murph got one. It's the one. first time I've ever done that. That's true. Yeah, I got a meter one time. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I on a meter? I yeah, this would be the worst course. podcast ever. The meter <laughs> never moved. I know. It's like, oh, no, damn. <laughs> Jeez. For those of you counting at home, that's one for that's Tyler. One. That's it. <laughs> one, we're done. That's it. Podcast over. The one happened. I, I know for a fact. That Tyler one, six tape. One happened. <laughs> what happened? Post no, sex the tape. The one happened. Oh, oh yeah. No. <laughs> what happened works too. <laughs> Where is this life now? <laughs> Jesus. I work a corporate job. <laughs> okay, that's it. Um, End of story. It's been my stripper name, Canadian Wildfire. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> right? <laughs> wow. Yeah. God damn. Oh, yeah. Someone's going to do it. Canadian Wildfire. Next porn star. Canadian Wildfire. <laughs> well, you got you to gotta have red hair for that one. That's yeah, true. Dye it. You should, honestly, you should grow it out. Dye it red. There you go. And they'd be like a... Just like a, it around. Like a red Fabio. <laughs> a red Fabio? <laughs> yeah, a red... Robio? <laughs> Robio. <laughs> 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 God, we just laughed way too hard at that. <laughs> what is this, Robbio from yeah, like the yeah, Jersey yeah, Shore? Yeah, yeah, right. How you fucking doing, <laughs> Robbio? <laughs> Eat your protein, uh, go right. fuck yourself. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> you Eat your protein, fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's about right. I think that's how it was. Yep, mm-hmm. that's the Jersey Shore. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for Jersey oh, Shore geez. season eight. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 Somebody actually mentioned that I think on TikTok one time they're like, "Oh, Jersey Shore, the was it the the nursing home edition or something like that?" I'm like, "Great, <laughs> you know, you know, MTV will make th- make sure that happens." Oh, for sure. More napkins, Murph. I know, I know, I need more. I, I just couldn't, I just couldn't sit and watch this get stickier and stickier, giggity. Uh, but yeah, couldn't, couldn't. Some some people would like to watch the world burn. Murph likes to clean up the mess. Thank yeah, you, Trudeau. I right. like you. Apparently, oh, 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 yeah, say, not the Canadian government. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, yeah. But yes, thank you. Yes, it is. It's a, uh, it's the, uh, pregame to Canada Day, the Stanley Cup. So, dude, can you imagine they're doing their party tomorrow? <laughs> so they're gonna do a, they're gonna do a cup celebration party on the Strip on a Saturday. Oh it might God. burn down. <laughs> Vegas might burn down. Damn. Or maybe they're not going on the strip. Maybe they're going somewhere else. But well, I mean, you can't really go much like anywhere else. Otherwise, yeah, you're going to get where locals go. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, even the locals are like, yeah, it'll probably be the strip because it's where the arena near the arena. So, yeah, it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, fans love it out there. I mean, it's I mean, it keeps them cool, right? That, that's all that matters. That, but I guess again, being the first professional team in Vegas, people have wanted that, so they're saying how like the community's just loving it, like because like they, you know, they're they're saying you're even more popular than the Raiders. So, well, I mean, yeah, let's face it, yeah, that that was that's kind of an easy that's an easy win right there. Just got yeah. to win, right? Be better than yeah. the Raiders. <laughs> uh, Murph said something a long time ago. It uh-oh. still is st- stuck with me now. You're welcome. He said something about herpes. What? Yes, gotcha. herpes. Perfect. Continue. <laughs> um, he said something along the lines of, I think it was like the league, like they want Las Vegas to win. Oh, yeah. Just to make sure, just kind of like to almost validate the, the move. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, solidifies hockey, all True. that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Especially yeah. in non-hockey markets anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's rigged. I'm sure people are going to say that just like the draft, like, oh, it's rigged. And I'm like, no, I don't think so. But I do think there's... I, I would I would love to be a fly on the wall of like ref meetings before games or something because I think there's sometimes a little bit of like a hey like you know let's give a few more calls the other way or something but then again at the end of the day like actually this is a good question for you yeah. um 
For, Go ahead. For yeah, for a final game, uh, for to winning any sort of major trophy. So Super Bowl, um, you know, um, World Series. Do you like the games to be close or do you like a blowout? Uh, close. Yeah. I like it, low scoring ish. Okay. Yeah. Tight. Yeah, because I know some people are like, they want touchdowns, or they want home runs, or they want, you know, like, I think that's why basketball is so popular. They want so many points. And I'm like, that was so disappointing about the final game of the Stanley Cup. Vegas won it 9-3. to 9-3. to three. I think that's like, at least, and I'm sure people are going to Google it and be like, Murph, you're an idiot, you're wrong. But I'm just going to say it. <laughs> at least, to my knowledge, that's the biggest gap to win a Stanley Cup I've ever seen. That's true. Like, you know, at least most Stanley Cup games, it's like two to one overtime or like, you know, like whatever. Nine to three, there were 12 goals scored. Like that to me is just asinine. It's crazy. And I think the thing, too, that was like you feel bad because like it was good to see Florida. That would have been Florida's first cup, too, if they won. But like Florida only won one game. So they only took five games. They won one game and they won that game like three to two. Every other time Vegas won like. Four to one, five to two, like, like, and I'm sure people are like, oh, that's only three goals off. That's pretty close. And it's like, no, when you've reached like four or five goals in a hockey game, it's kind of <laughs> over. Yeah, like, you know what I Basically. mean. Basically, especially at that level, it's kind of over. In the chance, like, you know what I mean. And I'm like, that's all. It was like, and Florida deserved to be there, but it was like, it just wasn't to me. Wasn't very fun. You'd watch the games and be like, Vegas is just the better team. Like, there's just like, actually, I'll, I'll admit it. I think I watched. A grand total of like, as far as like hockey periods watched, maybe like a game and a half. Like I didn't even watch like every game because after a while, it's just kind of like you just knew how it was going to be. It's like, what's the point? You like you knew <laughs> Vegas was winning. Like it probably, was just, like it was ridiculous. Like it was ridiculous. Oh. And they're gonna they're betting on those games just to make sure that that crap happened. I yeah. um. So anyway, I don't know. I, I was just getting your opinion because I'm the same as you. It's like I like it tight. Like that's more exciting. Yeah. And people are like, "Oh, I love all the goals and the celebrating." I'm like, "Yeah, but like when it's a nine to three game, like there there was what's a the point." There's a Super Bowl, um, 2000. I forgot the hell it was. What year was that? Maybe three. Um, all I remember was like it was the that's that was the year the Panthers were like good Panthers and and um, Patriots. Yep. And I remember that game was like I remember it was like a halftime or something. I think it was like, oh my god! I I think it was like three to three, six to three, or something wow. at yeah. halftime. And I was like, hell yeah, right? That's this cool. Is good. No, that's that to me. That's fun. It's a slugfest. Yeah, hell yeah. That's fun. So okay, but I mean, both teams had good defenses, yeah. and you knew it was like this, they're gonna beat the crap out of right? each other until somebody scores. Like that. That's the crap I love. Yeah, and I know some people are gonna make the argument of the the Falcons debacle. What was it the 42 yeah. to 24 or whatever the Patriots yeah. end up coming back and winning. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, there's that kind of thing in sports, but like that was the Patriots. You know what I mean? Like when yeah. it was like, you know, Vegas is the stronger team and they're up, they're up. That was it. They're up like after the second period or midway through the second period, yeah. like four or five to one. And you're like, just <laughs> like, it's not going to happen. It hasn't happened all series. It's not going to happen. Like, you know, like, I mean, saying. that's the other thing too. I like, like, Giggity, but I like the series to go deep. Like it was even the same for basketball. What like Denver won it in five, and you're kind of like <laughs> you're kind of like you kind of want to go to game seven. Like that's yeah. what's fun. Like that's what like I know football's different, but like hockey. Kid growing up, like when you're playing for fun and you're partially psychotic and using your imagination, you're like game seven. Like this is that save I'm gonna make in the game yeah. seven to win the Stanley Cup, or like that goal I'm gonna score. Like that's what you look forward to. I mean. Don't get me wrong. All the Vegas guys are happy to win it. Like you win a Stanley Cup doesn't matter, but it's like just not as exciting, you know? Like, yeah. You know, like that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's That's not all. exciting. Or at least if it's like okay, it was five games, but it was like every game was like two to one, three to two, whatever. One goal overtimes, whatever. Okay, fine, that happens. Yeah. But like you know, kind of like um, Florida and uh, Carolina, they were the series before the Stanley Cup, and Florida swept it, so they won in four straight. But every game was like overtime double overtime two to one and so Jeez. like the yeah so like the players said it and even the fans were kind of like it didn't feel like a sweep because every game was just a slug fest like it was just like you know but yeah, anyway so the stanley cups did not feel like that which <laughs> for the casual fan i'm sure they loved it but for like the real hockey fans 
What was that? Oh, oh the no. real hockey fans just took a picture, and then your stomach just says something weird. But for like oh, the no. real hockey fans, and I'm just gonna say it for myself, I was just very whatever. Yeah, but um, oh, we're losing Zach. Uh, but yeah, I'm rant. I guess I'm ranting, but this is what I like to do because I get very passionate about this stuff. Um, but yeah, you still good? I panicked. Damn it, Tech Man. But yeah, having a. Pop out screen. Go. Yeah. Continue. But uh, but you know, on to other things. I saw the Chiefs did their ring unveiling ceremony. Couldn't they have done it any better way? Just a red box. I'm like, come on. Like, oh no. I mean, so it had a TV in it, but it was like, yeah. I feel like it could have been cooler. So they they did it um at uh, Union Station I don't know in Kansas City. So that's that's where they held the draft. Oh cool. Okay. Um, actually, it wasn't too. From where you uh from where you were. Probably, I probably drove by it and didn't even realize it. It's probably it was near like the World War One monument. Okay. So it's like and I didn't go anywhere near it. Yeah, yeah it's a little yeah. bit more north from yeah. where you were. Yeah. Um but no, it's uh which kind of weird. That's like that's a big event to have in to kind of like siphon off the area just yeah. for like that event. I don't know, um, it's a Super Bowl ring. I mean Kansas City takes Super Bowl seriously, so Yeah, but you know, to block off Union Station for that. I mean, they should have blocked off more, Zach. I want them to close down the city. <laughs> I know. Well, like the last time they did it, they had it at like at Arrowhead, like on the field. Yeah. They're like, "Hey, here's your rings. Good job." That was it. But no, it was it was cool. They um, I, I'll tell you what. Now now these rings are getting insane. Oh, they got ridiculous. um. Now like they're they're. they're Might as well just put it like just be all diamond. I don't even know like why they even make a ring now. Like it's just like. Cut just the one diamond, big diamond into the ring. Yeah, <laughs> I want one big diamond, right. no ring. That's that's what you <laughs> so get. Exactly. Good job. Yeah, but um, no the um, the box itself was pretty cool because actually they were. I'm not sure how this works or I was gonna keep doing this, but it was a um, the Super Bowl game on loop. Oh, cool. But I'm like, so what the hell happens afterwards when it's sitting in your closet? Dude, just keep, keep closet, going. Yeah. Turn that fucking thing. Off. <laughs> I know. I know. Sure. <laughs> Sure, a lot but, of those guys just throw it out before they uh, sell it. No, yeah. yeah, the guys definitely sell it. But uh, the the ring actually looked really cool when I when I saw it um, on the on the sides. The engravings they were they have basically like half part of the stadium, and it's like on the scoreboard was like the um, the date of the game and obviously oh, the score, yeah. and then had like your the player's number or name on there, and then cool. on the other side it was like how many Super Bowls they won. But then on the top was really cool because. They uh, it's just nice to see the logo yep. on it now, but the they put like the red rubies and the KC on it. Oh, that's cool. Which yep. look, made everything pop. Yep. Okay, clean. I actually didn't see all that detail. Oh, I just saw them like it, opening it, and that was it. it. Yeah. Oh, once w- you see like, would you actually see like the the ring? Oh no, I imagine clean. the ring looked amazing. I just thought like it sounds stupid, but I thought the box that came and I was kind of like, yeah, the box could have done better. But anyway, yeah. yeah. But. It's uh, they had Actually, like the, I want Chiefs. the box nicer than the ring. That's what I want now. Who's <laughs> gonna do that? <laughs> yeah, step up. I want an all diamond box. Let's and go, then, Justin. Like, yeah, right. Okay, right. Yeah. <laughs> Your damn monopoly right. <laughs> on high schools and everything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, but no, it's like the the Chiefs logo on the and then like behind them was like the three uh Super Bowl trophies. Oh yeah, and nice. uh, obviously all diamonds and it looked really cool. But then this is the new thing now. I'm not a fan of it, but Uh-oh, everybody likes yep. it. Um, the, the, top, the the top pops off, and then you can look, and then like they oh, have yeah. extra detail. Who started that? Was it the the um, Patriots? Someone started that. I know maybe what I mean, though. probably yeah. Patriots. Anyways, yeah, so they start getting extra boost. You have yeah. like eighty five Super Bowls. <laughs> but um, yeah, Boston, uh, you have enough Super Bowls. Get over it. <laughs> anyway, yeah. But um, when you open it up, it's like the 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 shape of Arrowhead Stadium, and then it has like a couple extra like personal like details of the so player. It's the shape of a U. Ah, no, no, <laughs> no, Mer. not the horseshoe. Yeah, I will kill you. <laughs> oh no, I thought you were. Never oh, mind. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I thought you got the other reference. Whatever, you did. It went over mm. your head. <sighs> Sorry, Ohio State. No, yeah, I didn't mean like that. Damn you, Murph. Yeah. Um, Ed Sheeran, continue. Ed Sheeran. <laughs> yeah, yeah shape the shape of you. Of you? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come oh, on, no. man. Um, but no, it's actually it looks look really cool though. It's, I liked it. Cool. It looks clean as long as you like it. Yeah. Can you get like fake replicas? Yeah, you can get fake. Replicas. Nice. There's already replicas are fake. I guess I just said replicas. fake replicas. Yeah. Can I get fake replicas? The replica of the replica. Yeah, right. <laughs> <what we need. laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> yes. So does that go like to equipment trainers and all that? Do they get a ring for everybody that's associated with the Chiefs? <laughs> just about, yeah. Really? Yeah, even like the office people. The owner must spend like what? That'd be like a few billion. But I mean, 
Yeah, the bill. Uh, I'm not sure. That'd be the... close. All those diamonds, unless they're blood diamonds. Probably. You probably. <laughs> you never know. That's why you don't ask any questions. Um, American football. But uh, usually, if it's like, I, me and my dad were talking about this. So I was like, I'm not sure if he buys those or. But they normally do. If you have a direct, if, like, I think they have, or maybe the leagues like here's a base you can get, and then they just spaz them up. Probably, probably they might have like a watered down version of it. Yeah, for you sure. never know. Yeah, um, because uh, my cousin actually she worked for the Phillies. Okay, during the time like yep. when they won the World Series. Yeah, it was a while ago, but yeah. Um, and then she was in ticket sales, and she got a ring. But you know, the owner paid for it, obviously. Nice. But I was like. I'm just thinking to myself, like, what the hell happened? Like, why are we giving these rings to, like, most random people? I get why. I get yeah. the idea. Yeah. But, God, give them some else. Ticket sales? Yeah. Yeah. That's no There's, offense to her, but ticket sales? Yeah, come I, on. Know. Like, yeah. <laughs> I know. Like, yeah. I know. But um, it's funny you mention that because there was uh, this guy I came across on, on Twitter that works for the Chiefs. He was, like, a he basically does a lot of the, the content creation for them. Yep. And, um Oh, was, he had a couple of pictures of that night where, of him with the ring. He was like, oh, just flaunting it. Oh, and I had to be a dick. I was like, hey, man, I dismissed you on the field. What position were you? <laughs> I mean, he brought that on himself. Like, <laughs> no. Like, 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 he, like, I think we talked about this once in the podcast. My <laughs> brother has a nice like USA ring that they got for winning World Juniors, and he like never wears it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like. Like, yeah, I agree with you. Like, come on, unless you like, we're playing through injury on the field, or like, you know, you like, just. I don't. mean, if like, you're yeah, coaching staff and yeah, you put the team together. I mean, that's that's fine. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, but literally, guy that just polishes the dome and the helmets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the the Chiefs equipment manager. He does deserve it. He's been there since like the eighties, okay, seventies. Okay. So yeah, good for him. I'm like, all right, but yeah. if you're making YouTube content and you getting rings, damn it, get your own ring. Agreed. Yeah, I agree. Get now, you. wait. So I you made a comment before, and I I oh, didn't yeah. realize this tell. So the Chiefs have only won three Super Bowls in their whole uh, yep. existence since nineteen, and two of them under Mahomes. Sixty. Yep. Oh wow! So he's automatically in the Hall of Fame for them. Wow. Okay. Good. To know. Uh, NFL probably. Oh, for NFL for sure. But I just meant the Chiefs Hall of Fame. Yeah. Do they have one? Yeah. Okay. I figured oh, yeah. they did. But oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, he, he's. I mean. I think by now the Chiefs Hall of Fame because they do it every single their, year. Their first one was what, like Super Bowl three or something like that. Yeah, yeah, like they won an early one and then they just went that long without winning one. Oh, damn. Well, we were in Super Bowl one. I remember that. Yeah, yeah I lost Packers. Yep. And then we beat Vikings Super Bowl three. Wow. And yeah. Could have. Was Dallas in Super Bowl two? Who's in two? Oh my god. Packers again, right? Because Packers won. Packers again. Packers won the first two. Oh, I remember. Oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna. Yeah, right come on, there. NFL history, know. man. No, I know, I I wouldn't be able to answer that for the NHL, so don't even ask. Um, but yeah, that's fair. All right, I'm more interested in like when we went to the Hall of Fame. I was more interested in like, all right, well, were. who who are the the, the uh, defunct teams, the yeah. teams that were here for like two? Actually, days. Those are cool, like the Hamilton Bulldogs, and learning yeah. about like how it kind of started in Ohio, even though it didn't start in Ohio. But yeah, yeah, and cool. they and there was like one team that was like one of the only teams that she was named after a player. Oh, I forgot about that one. Um, because yeah. they they wanted this guy so bad. They're like, fine, we'll just name the team after you. He's like, all right, let's do it. <laughs> Gotta play for them. <laughs> you imagine that the Balti- right? Baltimore Lamars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> it's like, okay, we get Kansas it. Kansas City Zacks. Sluskies. <laughs> Kansas City Sluskies. <laughs> Kansas City, uh, Kansas City Ruds. Paul Ruds. <laughs> I play for them. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. I will be there got in two me. seconds. We need to do this. Get this started. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we got to make room for Jason Sudeikis. God damn it. For Ted Lasso. Right now, my uh, gosh. Put him in. <laughs> Ted Lasso FC. <laughs> oh, God, yes. <laughs> I'm in. Make this happen. That's, you know, it's funny. Actually, great segue because oh, what perfect. happened was, uh, um, actually, I think it was like a week before that. So Kansas City has a thing every single uh, year where they have okay. a big slick uh, tournament. Don't know what that is. It's basically it's like a, a baseball, um, like, okay. a, like a kind of a softball celebrity oh, tournament. Nice. Yep. And I I remember this was a couple of years after I moved, but they started doing this a couple of years after I moved away. And it was like this small, small little like softball field okay. that like Paul Rudd used to come back to, Jason Sudeikis. Wow. Um, yep. oh, Rob Riggle. Uh, the, the casual t- names there were dropping. God, who's. 
the guy in um, Anchorman, the uh, sports, oh, the cowboy um, hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rick. Um, Rick. Yeah, I don't know what his name is, but yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yep. But yep. all those guys are from Kansas City nice. or like around there. Yep. And um, but yeah, they. Uh, is Jim from the office? No, he's Boston. Why did I? No. That was stupid. <laughs> all right, anyway, continue. And then obviously. Wait, um, Ham. Who? Is he from St. Louis? I thought he's a Blues fan. Probably. The guy Mad Men. Oh, John Hamm. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's, he's, he's from St. Louis. He's a St. Louis guy. Yeah, anyway, yeah. continue. So these are mainly like all like Kansas yeah. City people. Um, I'm not sure. John Hamm's actually got, I think he got invited there a few times okay, to do that. Okay, I thought he would be. That's why I, I mentioned him. Because I think he might be. I think not in the early days, but the last number of years that he's been invited. Gotcha. But, and for some reason, Selena Gomez has done it like three or four times. Is she in like Florida? Yeah. Or Texas. Ah. But I'm like, why? I mean, it's cool. Yeah. But hey. <laughs> whatever works. <laughs> What's the name on the map? <laughs> so, like, every year they do, like, this celebrity softball game. Now they're adding more and more things to it, and then they're adding, like, there's actually some, like, TV coverage of it now, which is kind of weird. But they're basically just raising money for – Oh, I think I've seen on ESPN. For, uh, like, I didn't realize that was there. Okay, that's cool. Oh, yeah. yeah. So they're they're raising money for the uh, Children's actually, Hospital the game, in um, – yeah. The Children's Hospital in, in Kansas City. And uh, it's pretty cool. It's all these big names coming out, but – um. Um, it this year was a little bit different because this is like right towards the end of Ted Lasso. Ah, so yep. Jason Dacus is like, it's like I'm just happy you guys liked it, but I'm just here for Kansas City. It's great. Mm-hmm. Everyone's like, you should, you should like make another season, but you're coaching in the states. He's like, I, I don't, I don't think. I think the story's already been told or done. Yeah. Yep. Like, but it'd be great. It's like guys, I'm just trying to be here playing fucking softball. <laughs> it's like, it's like. Like the poor bastard just trying to have fun. <laughs> oh my like, gosh! Well, yeah. It's like Ted Lasso, man. It's done a number on Americans and yes, and the world the, in the general. Brits. Oh yeah, God. Probably why the Premier League would be so big now next season. <laughs> it's oh been god, so yeah. Big. yeah, yeah. Good god, yeah, yeah. It's it's wild to see the explosion of of soccer, all the TV yeah. rates, and all that. Oh yeah, yeah. Good god. Yep. I mean, you would never, you never think of it so many americans are investing in all that yeah it's i mean the money is just insane right now canadians too right yeah saudis <laughs> now it's turning into a geopolitical oh it's so bad warfare it's right so now bad. <laughs> so bad but so nice because you see them picking up these like awful contracts and they just have so much money to burn god yeah it was something i saw some the other day it was like the champ so like the the division below the premier league championship yeah there's something like I would say like maybe a third of that are are owned by or minority owned by some American. Yeah. It's cl- it's getting close to half. Oh nice. So yeah. I'm like, man, what the like it's Gotta cool but but yeah. I don't like it cuz I'm like get the Brits involved. I mean, right? What are we doing well, before, here? Before like it's going to sound weird but like it makes me wonder like baseball might be in trouble cuz before those owners would own minor league baseball teams. True. Because that was America's pastime, and that was, like, what we watched. And now there's a show you that interests are changing, that now it's, like, sure. the the minor league teams are becoming just, like, eh. And then, yeah, it's going to soccer. Now either. the Savannah Bananas. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. They're raking in all the – Doing a great job. Can't wait for that league to form up. <laughs> the Harlem Globetrotters of baseball. They are. That's, what, that's, that's his face. That's what they are. <laughs> that's what they are. Oh, it's stupid, right? I saw something on TikTok. They actually they signed uh, um, was it Johnny Damon for? Oh yeah, for for like the season or something. Jeez, <laughs> season the name. <laughs> hey, you know what I got to do? I can't. You know what? I can't have too much of an opinion because I don't watch enough baseball. So unfortunately, Neither. the yeah the uh, historian in me is like eh, but the other person in me is like you know what? Whatever. If it attracts interest into the game and helps, good for them. I don't know, but I don't give two shits. <laughs> as, long as, they don't have, as long as they don't start doing that in hockey, I'm all right. So there's there's a shift that's happening. I'm telling you, it's obviously it's gone away from baseball for years, but oh. now we're we're getting into what soccer. Was it? South Park called it where it was what? like uh, sarcastic ball. Sarcastic. <laughs> like that's how our sports about to become now. Just a Sarc- joke. Sarcastic. Yeah, anyway, sorry, continue. <laughs> now there, there's there's a shift like the last couple of years. I think is now we're seeing. Um, I think the last like two years, man, like soccer's like really Amping blown up. up. Oh, it's it's it was the world's game, but it's definitely proving it's the world's game now. Like it's insane. Yeah, yeah. I, I can, 
I just don't think you can even do anything close to the Premier League here. It, just, it wouldn't work. No. Too many They're sports. They're trying, but it won't. Yeah. Too well, many sports. Well, American football just has it. It has yeah. American football has America by the balls, so it'll just never happen. Yeah. Canada, you're missing out. We have hockey. On everything. Yeah. Just just hockey. Well, we prefer well, wildfires. We were really good at wildfires. <laughs> 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 like we were number one of those. <laughs> if Arsenal was a sport, yeah, right? Like, we'd win. I know California's got some pretty bad ones, but like we just won right there. So <laughs> we got that now. Oh, you boy! You just right. you wait, you wait till Oregon or Washington get their Someone's shit together. Have a gender reveal party and burn down like half a half a state. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> too many fireworks. It's a boy. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it weird? Like you think you have a gender reveal party, and then now the way the world's working, the thing won't know its gender, and like. Six years after that. That's a very confusing sentence. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean, though. I don't want to be a part of it. Yeah, you know what I mean. You know the, the thing, you know the thing. Yeah. Well, I don't know its gender either, so I'm just calling it the thing. <laughs> There's too many horror movies called the thing. I don't I don't want to. <laughs> what do we name uh, it? I don't know. No, I'm just saying, isn't it kind of funny that I have gender reveal parties, but then the child might decide that it's a, the opposite gender in like four Man. years? <laughs> Man, it's like a. God. Yep. It's like a sick game. It's 2023, man. <laughs> <laughs> the, you know things won't get too bad. Like they won't be as bad until you start seeing. You know, um, I want. We should cat quit litter. that because I can't wait till 2025 when things are worse. Like it's, we're trending that way. Oh yeah. Until we start seeing, you know, some cat litter in the corner of classrooms, and that's how you know things are really. I thought that was already happening. It is some that some hurts districts. My head. Yeah. Yeah. It hurts my head. <laughs> No child of mine is going to that school. <laughs> There's some districts that are like that. Like, I'm sorry. Uh, just like, <laughs> so, like, does the kid take a shit in the corner then? Is that how it works? That's a in good question. It's a good question. Does he poop in the... <laughs> do you poop in the sandbox or you go outside? <laughs> or you go... Regardless, it's a very awkward thing they're going to have to do. <laughs> I, remember, I remember elementary school. Every kid... Always picked some sort of random animal, and it's like that's what I, that's what I'm gonna be. Like, all right, have fun. Yeah. And then you hit like one day, and it's probably been like at that point, maybe a couple months, and your teacher's like, "All right, man, you were you are yeah, we're you're done. You're not an anteater. We got to stop this. Yeah. <laughs> be normal. <laughs> be normal. <laughs> was that from um, <laughs> uh, Step Brothers? Yeah. And he's like, he's like, wanna... my dad was just saying, stop being a fucking dinosaur. <laughs> I just want to be a T Rex. Yeah, right. Yeah, I just want to be a T Rex. <laughs> uh, you see how animated he got uh, when he said that yeah. too. Oh yeah, Your Dad, I want to be. <laughs> Dad just wanted me to stop being a fucking dinosaur <laughs> and get a job. <laughs> I remember watching that with my dad. I looked over at my dad's like, "That's you." <laughs> <laughs> Killing my dreams. Yeah. I dare you. I wanted to be a T Rex. <laughs> all I wanted to be was a panda, but no. <laughs> Sit around and eat bamboo all damn day. <laughs> <laughs> but no. Gosh. Damn. Oh, boy. These conversations. That was therapeutic. Thank you, man. That was good. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> right? This is, it's not a casting couch. It's a therapy couch. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Yeah. Casting couch. Right? It's Jesus. <laughs> so here you want to be an actor, Murph. <laughs> <laughs> Nope. <laughs> nope. No, 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 no. no. start fires. Wrong couch. This, Wrong, yeah. this couch will Wrong start. Couch, yeah. This couch will start fires. Yeah, right. <laughs> With how much evil that's rubbing been on sticks. here. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? Rubbing sticks? Yeah. I said tummy sticks. No, well, both? <laughs> <laughs> No, Todd. <laughs> that picture was no, a Todd, gift. Yeah. I'm taking it home with me. <laughs> no, Todd. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Oh, oh gosh. Movie references. They're amazing. Oh. Well, it keeps us going sometimes. <laughs> God damn. Oh damn. Oh what Jeez. a what a time. What a time. Uh yeah. anything anything you're looking forward to, Murph? Honestly, it sounds weird. Cause it got cool the last few days. I am looking forward to fall. So it sucks because we're in June. That's what I've been saying. Uh, right? It sucks that we're in June, so we still have like three more months. But I am looking forward to fall. And I think like I saw a TikTok and it was playing like the This is Halloween song from um Nightmare Before Christmas and I was like, I'm ready to start watching some Halloween movies. 
But I'm like, damn, we still have like I can't even start that till September. Like we still got like three months. You can only start a little bit after yeah. Fourth of July. A little bit. You know, I can't, I, a little bit. I little. don't because it's like you know I'm just satanic like that. You know the, the satanic. Yeah, the, <laughs> the pain of waiting just yes. <laughs> gives me so much pleasure. No. I'm just <laughs> I, every time I see those, I have to scroll real quick and like, oh, no, 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 like now on TikTok, like the countdowns to Christmas and Halloween. And I'm like, damn this, damn this <laughs> Christmas. I'll not tolerate. I will, but we've already had that argument slash discussion. So it's, it's fine. Yeah. Damn it. I know. <laughs> I know no, the last few days, like I would, uh, it's been like, I don't know. It was like the last couple uh, weeks leading up to the last few days. It was like, man, what? 80 degrees, 90 degrees. Yeah. So I'm saying but, it but dropped, no. like, that's what I think they're not realizing that I forgot. Yeah, it dropped massively. It went yeah. from, like, 80, almost 90 degree days to we were, like, 60s. Like, yeah. it was weird. It's a like, cold 60s, like a cold, yeah. like, yeah. autumn 60s. Like, damn. Right? It was, like, perfect autumn 60s, too. Like, I think yeah. it was kind of sunny, too. Like, it was, like, yeah. it was awesome. I was confused. I was, like, I, I know damn well not Halloween yet. Right? Because I'd be on top of this shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was... Honestly, that's Ohio. It's a bitch. It was like here's the, a, here's the yeah it's a bitch. here's the tease of what's going to be happening at some point. But now I'm going to turn the heat back up and make you hate your lives and never want to go outside because it's just hot and humid and that is coming. So that's what she said. But yes, I know. Yeah, I'm a glass half empty kind of guy sometimes. But let's face it, that's like half I'd full. rather be prepared for it. So half full, Murph. I, well, if it was half full, then it would be cool like that all the time. <laughs> You know, I try to keep get that damn waitress to pour more water in my damn glass, but you know what? Right. She won't, so it's half empty. She's a bitch. <laughs> what a bitch. Just like the like just like Ohio. A bitch. Right. Oh, thank you, Murphy. She's either a bitch or a bastard, depending on what she's doing. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Murphy allegory line up tonight. Oh yeah. Yep. <laughs> Gotta throw every one of those in once, once in a while. <laughs> Allegories, all right. We're using big words again. Yeah, big words. <laughs> some big words. some people prefer thick. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Sorry, some people. <laughs> some people. <laughs> I prefer juicy. What? No. <laughs> What's your pronouns? Juicy. <laughs> I just got sick. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, jeez. Oh, God. Gosh. Well, look at that. 52 right? minutes, Murph. We I know. It. Yeah, we probably bored them enough. Uh, they probably. haven't already unsubscribed. Uh, that's true. Yeah. It's, like, it's like, get me off this, please, please, right, please, right, please. Right. Why won't it stop? They won't stop talking. <laughs> As soon as I'm out, they've dragged me back in, right. bastards. <sighs> Gets them every time. But until then, yes. thank you guys for dealing with our nonsense for another week. That was eight, Appreciate it. episode 18 of Maple Glaze podcast. Um, yeah. Murph, it is time. It is, is it time? It is time. I guess I just got to say bye, Murph. 